Welcome back to the performance video training series. In this video, we will connect and synchronize the virtual system built in the previous videos with the physical devices they represent. This process is completed in connect mode. If you have not already watched the video on NetSetter, it is encouraged you do so before watching this video. With a completed design file open, click into connect mode from the bar on the left hand side of the application. The workspace looks similar to HControl ID view in design mode with every device displaying an age control ID. Devices found in the network will populate here under the unmatched column. If no devices are visible, you may need to specify the correct network adapter in the settings window. Virtual device HCIDs can be edited in the workspace if needed. Until the devices are matched and connected, Changes to the devices in the workspace will change the virtual device, but not the hardware. Remember, devices may have a container. This information is the last known group and array the device was synchronized with. Usually, devices are organized by containers. If there are no containers assigned, devices will be displayed under the No Container list. There is an online status bar located at the bottom of the screen. The left-hand side of the status bar indicates that the application is currently in a disconnected state, which makes sense as we have not connected and synchronized to any devices yet. The venue number refers to how many devices the design file has in the workspace, in this case 29. The detected column is how many devices have been discovered across the network. The match number is at zero, but once we start associating devices in the design, that number will go up. There are two ways to match devices, manually and automatically. Any device from the discovered column can be dragged onto a matching device type and matched. In this case, the device's HCID matched the target device and the container was clear. You can see visually that this device is matched by the change in graphics, but also by the yellow status light on the device. This yellow indicator means the device is matched, but currently offline. The status bar has also been updated to reflect that one device has been matched. If we manually match another physical device that has a different HCID than the virtual device in the venue, the ID of the virtual device will change to reflect the HCID of the real device. Devices with uncleared containers left from a previous design can also be manually matched. Performance will prompt you to overwrite the container. Clicking Yes completes the match. If you need to identify a physical device listed in the Discovered column, click the Locate icon and the screen on the device will blink to help you identify it. Then, changes to Discovered hardware device IDs can be made here. Once matched, Devices are listed in the matched list sorted by their new containers. To unmatch devices, select or multi-select the devices and click the Unmatch button. The quicker and preferred method of matching an entire network of devices is to use the auto-match function. For auto-match to work correctly, the HCIDs and device types in your design file must match the HCIDs and device types of the devices on your network. If they do not, NetSetter can be used to change the online device HCIDs. Clicking auto-match will match all the devices from the discovered column to the devices in your design that have matching device types and HCIDs. If the container of any device is not clear or does not match the destination container information, the software will prompt you to overwrite it. We can now see that all the devices in the design have a yellow light to indicate they have been matched but are still offline. If a change is made to the container or HCID in this state, the device will be unmatched and will show back up in the discovered column with its original ID because the virtual device no longer matches the physical device. To bring the system online, Tap, Connect, and Send to synchronize the settings from our design to the physical devices. A message appears at the top of the page to tell us that the devices have been synchronized. The lights on the devices change green to indicate that they are online and synchronized. 
The status bar indicator at the bottom of the screen also changes to reflect a green connected state, and the quantity of synchronized devices should equal the number of matched devices. To disconnect from an online system, just hit the disconnect button. With the system matched and online, in the next video, we will use test mode to verify that the devices are working properly.